another gorgeous boat to go over with you today. This is a 22 foot strike series center console model. The customer is putting his own motor on it. He's got a 250 Pro XS. He's going to be mounting on the back of it. Digital. We got him all set up with digital DTS uh, controls in the boat. Um, he custom picked his own colors on this boat. And he did a couple of things on it that was that was a little bit different. I'm going to go over the, that and show you in here in just a minute. Uh, if you pass the camera to me, I'll walk through the boat with you. All right. So sitting here in the cockpit, he's got a nice Garmin unit there, flush mounted inside of his dash. His controls there. Wet sound stereo system. Digital gauge. Um, and I said earlier that he was putting a 250 Pro XS, but he's not. He's, he, I was mistaken. He's putting a 250 SS Suzuki on the back of this boat. I misspoke on that. Uh, he's got the doors on his console here that open up to a shelf on the inside. Nice storage inside there. This side, as you guys know, from familiar with the Strike Series, that side is rigging that runs through that. It's not an actual storage box, but this side is. So that step on the left is a storage box, and the one on the right is just rigging that goes to the console. He's got storage boxes on both sides of the double seats there. With the Both of them have the lifting lumbar and the slides on them for a lot of adjustability. Inside the back back here, this is going to be his just your standard Gator Tracks rear deck with the live well right there and the two drop-in boxes on each side. Those boxes remove and give you access to your batteries and power pole pumps and chargers and whatever else that you have back here in the back. Got a nice Bimini top on here with the uh, courtesy lights. He's got courtesy lights inside all of his boxes as well as up on the deck. Now stepping up here to the front deck, you'll see this section right here he's got. And all that is is a little jump seat. That actually is, is there's three different positions that this cockpit area can be in. That can be completely removed. You can take that out with no screws or, uh, I mean, no tools or anything, just using these knobs. You can take that out, and when it comes out, he can set an ice chest there. So he can have an ice chest there. He can have this here, which is just a little seat, a couple extra cup holders in it. Or you can see in the pictures that we had in the boat, uh, if you missed it the first time, you can see it at the end of the video, where he has a section that completely covers that with another hatch in it. So he can have this boat completely decked all the way to the console, or he can have that section removed with an ice chest in it, or he can have that section removed with this little jump seat in it with cup holders. And then going from there forward, on this side he has a split rod box where this portion here is a built-in ice chest for drinks big big ice chest for drinks actually and then that makes this a little bit shorter not quite long enough to be a rod locker but still a long storage box that goes all the way up into the front storage inside here rod locker on this side over here Another storage hatch here. And then storage again up here in the front. Recessed trolling motor foot tray. Got another Garmin up here on a beat down outdoors mount that slides up and down. He can actually raise that up to be high like it is now. And he can also lower that one for riding. And a Garmin force trolling motor on here with the Garmin live scope. Dude, this boat is sweet. A couple of power pole blades in the back, hydraulic trim tabs on it. What a nice ride. He's standing here waiting on me to hook up to it and leave with it right now. So I wanted you guys to see it before it left. Thanks for checking it out.